Welcome to Big Oz Explorers. We've been touring in a caravan for over a year now and have learned a lot about how to manage in a tiny home while traveling around Australia. I'm Sean, and this is Chris, and our kids, Jada and Jack. Follow our family and live van life through our eyes while we take you on the trip of a lifetime around Australia's hotspots. Click the subscribe button to join our adventure every Thursday and stay up to date with everything Big Oz. And that's proof there's crocodiles in this river. You don't see them, but they're here. He hasn't moved an inch at all. What a way to start the morning, that's cool. And we've had brekkie, we've had coffee, we're uh, getting ready for the day. We've just come back up the other end of the river here because there's actually a little natural spring that we noticed here yesterday afternoon just rolling up to today so we thought we'd go up there and maybe have a bit of a, a shower clean ourselves up what a way to start the morning have a shower on a natural spring and then head out for the day only in the Kimberley so we've just been dropped off we're just walking through this is nice beautiful little lagoon in here I'll come up here and show you it looks stunning this is all fresh water, so it's this freshwater spring. It's just incredible. How cool is that? There's a little waterfall just here. It looks like there's a little pool inside. So that's where I'm heading. As much as it's inviting down here, I've still got to keep the fear of having a crocodile cruising around. Especially after we've just seen that big croc sunbaking down there on the rock. Like they are everywhere, you just don't see them all the time. Got a nice little lagoon, little swim up there. I'm onto it. So this is basically going to be our like shower slash bath for the uh, for the morning. So I don't, know, I don't know how many other people can say that they can just cruise into a natural spring and just have a, a bit of a, a dip, kickstart their morning. Yes. Woo. This is cool. Yeah. This is me.
we just decided to keep walking upstream just to see if it gets any better. And I'll tell you what, it's getting better and better and better. There's like even more little waterfalls and like swimming areas. It's just, <laughs> it's so crazy. Josh is up there now, just having a quick look. And all he's in. But there it is. That was absolutely magnificent. We've seen a little uh, freshwater spring, this one here behind me when we came past yesterday but to come back and actually come up and explore it it's just so cool it's, yeah just goes to show you there's so much hidden stuff up here that you just don't know about until you start exploring that's why we just love getting out and about and finding little hidden gems like this if you're in the berkeley like we are with a boat there's so much to see we're actually going to go to another little river inlet which is further down near the entrance um, and apparently it's a little bit of a hike and you can go up and see some original art so I'm pretty pretty excited about that one as well but this is a really cool way to start the morning I've said it a few times but bloody hell First waterfall. That's all. I didn't think we'd see any waterfalls on this trip at all, but that is unbelievable. Oh, it's so inviting. What do you reckon we we'll jump up? We'll stand underneath the waterfall. We're gonna go and stand underneath it. This is sick. What a spot. <laughs> they just get easier and easier. <laughs> so it's the start of this track. Gonna climb up that cascade of bloody rocks. Which way to go? We're told to follow the ridge right the way around. We should bump into what we need. So we'll see what happens. So far, so good. It's actually a pretty easy walk. We're just following this track that seems to be really well worn in. So it's almost pretty impossible to get lost. So they must bring a lot of tools up here, I'd reckon, from the lodge. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have. Oh man. They are loose up here. Down. What an insane view. The waterfall here. And it continues up here. It's like these little pools. Oh, that was a perfect little one there. You could swim in for sure. The only real downside is it's got all this mossy stuff on the bottom so once you start disturbing that it just really fills up and then it's like chunks of stuff everywhere i don't know about you that is one hell of a backdrop holy hell 
<laughs> it's crazy. It, like it only took us probably 10 minutes to get up here. It's about one to 200 meters, I'd reckon. And you can be right up top here and looking down at that. That's just absolutely stunning. Oh man. Oh, now we're talking. This is right up near the top. It keeps going for miles, but this is what I'm talking about. Primo. That's a good little swimming hole right there, nice and deep. <laughs> you can nearly jump in that. Just made our way up into this sort of cliffside rocks. And as you can see right there is actually some Aboriginal heart. They reckon it's what, a Tasmanian devil. Yeah. Which is pretty insane. Like we're so far away from Tasmania right now, but for them to even know what that is, it's pretty incredible. I reckon 17 seventeen thousand years old, I reckon. Yeah, it's seventeen just, Yeah. Yeah, it's back dated to seventeen thousand years ago. It's a bloody long time. So the Aboriginals would have been sitting up here just scoping out the land. This would have been their house. It's pretty cool. You can just come up here. It's scenic. You can have a swim. You can see Aboriginal art. Like, yeah, crazy. I've had some good crayons back then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we made it back. What a hill. We've got to climb up that and then down it. Down it's always coming like the worst. We've uh, found out, so <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle, but it's definitely uh, worth it, and it's doable. Yeah, it's probably one of the biggest hills I've climbed for a long time. Just got Shauno out here, chilling out. I don't know if he's falling asleep, I can't even see him. <laughs> he's probably having a snooze, isn't he? <laughs> well there it is we're back on mainland that has been one of the most incredible trips that we've done yet. Our last trip was really cool, but this one was just, it blows it out of the water. To go and see that Berkeley River, I honestly recommend it. If you can get up there, my boat, you got someone that can take you, 100% go and do it. And do it for a couple of days too, because you can really, you can stay there for a week, easy. Like the landscape is just incredible. It's, I don't know, there's fish everywhere. The side you can go climbing, you can see waterfalls, you can see all sorts of stuff. I can only imagine what it would be like in the wet season. Because when we were up here a few months ago, it was amazing just to be able to go up just about any river system around Kananara. And there's honestly just waterfalls everywhere. So to go up there would be insane because there's some really big waterfalls. Um, you can just drive along and see all the black sort of rocks and that can tell you where water was flowing in the wet. Oh man, it was just... Oh. I'm almost speechless. We've been on the boat for two days, hanging out with good company, beers, fishing, good food, the whole lot. Like a typical boys trip, so. We've got back, I'm just gonna go and load the boat up now. We're gonna do a couple of toilet runs <laughs> before we go back. And probably about an hour and a half until we get back to town, and then we're done and dusted.
What an amazing spot. We've been here for, what, two nights now. So the boys have been out on a fishing trip, which I'm hoping by now you will have seen the footage. If not, it's gonna come next. Or maybe they didn't take any, I don't know yet. Um, but they've been out for two nights on a fishing trip and us girls have been hanging out here. So this is a free camp near Kununurra called Buttons Crossing. And it's probably about eight to 10 Ks on dirt to get here. The place itself is called Buttons Crossing. So it's just covered in pebbles. So the whole place has just stones everywhere. It's been really nice to actually be away from the red mud for a change and the red dirt and the dust and everything. And I'm not like constantly cleaning the floor for all the kids stuff that they bring in. So it's just pebbles, which has been really cool. But the location itself is right on the river. So where we're looking at is uh, the Lower Ord River. And in this portion of the river as well, there's salties everywhere. And directly across from this camp, there is a massive one. He must be like five meters long. He is so big. So I've tried to get some photos with the camera and I've tried to get footage. It's not that easy, but I'm gonna get Chris to get the drone up. I'm hoping he's gonna be there when he gets back. So yeah, Chris and I, we're planning on staying here probably for another couple of nights and then we'll go back into Kununurra for our last admin things. And then we'll be on the road and starting the gib. And then the other van that's here, they're traveling campers. So that's Josh and Michaela. Josh has gone out in the boat with uh, Chris and Michaela has been here with us. So yeah, it's been like a little girl's getaway for a couple of days. It's been really weird actually, like not having the boys around. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to picking him up this morning. Uh, I'm going into town shortly and see what it's been like. I reckon he'll be um, short of sleep, probably hungover and smell like a fish. Sounds lovely. <laughs> Thank you.